traditionally government clients struggle with the security requirements of moving to the cloud and also contractual mechanisms. And with the JEDI procurement, those are going to be taken care of. That's going to make the next step of migrating to the cloud, it's going to require you to have a different kind of vendor. The government is going to move some of the more straightforward workloads into the cloud, but then the journey is going to require a more sophisticated partner in order to move harder workloads into the cloud and bring on new capabilities that were never available to the DoD before. So the biggest impact on mission and program objectives is going to be speed. Gone are the days where it takes you six to 12 months to provision a technical environment. Now if the DoD is trying to attack a new challenge, they'll be able to spin up technology almost instantly. That'll allow them to bring new capabilities online. It'll allow them to tackle a problem instantly. If they need to do a data analysis, they'll be able to spin up almost on demand the infrastructure they need and then collaborate in a global manner to address the technical problems they're trying to accomplish. If you think about the way or what the cloud is enabling for commercial businesses, it's enabling kind of hyperscaled large data access on a global network. And that's exactly what the U.S. military needs to combat our adversaries. So the cloud is going to enable you to have ubiquitous computing anywhere on the planet at the scale you need.